So today, you and I are rocking out power of partnerships, how to leverage Century 21 Baggins partnerships um, and how to rock it out. So why don't you, you know, I, I didn't even get a chance to introduce myself earlier. So the people that don't know me, you know what, ladies first. That was very rude of me. I apologize. Why don't you introduce yourself and then I'll introduce myself so they know who they're talking to. So oh, okay. okay. So my name is Ashley Kina. I am the vice president of relocation for Century 21 Baggins. Sweet. Um, and I appreciate you all. And Jimmy, it's all you. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm one of I, I am an agent and I'm also a manager in the Apollo Beach and Sun City office. So you will see me around all the time there. Everybody's saying hi, Ashley. It was like, hello, pop it. All right, cool. So like we talked about, um, we're going to rock out today and we're going to talk about how to leverage Century 21 Beggins programs and partnerships. Now, the, what we're going to really hit on though is why partnerships are important in your business because they truly, truly, truly are. If you want to take your business to the next level, you got to have the right partners. You understand how and where you can find them. And we're going to tie it into relationship management, consumer confidence, and business connections. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to really get into all the partnerships we have as a company. Um, but before you can do that, you got to understand, you know, why, why a partnership, you know, is important. Like, what's it going to do for you, you know? So, oh, someone else is saying hello. Oh, hi, Bruce Wayne. What's up, Chuck? I'm not dressing up like Batman for any of these, by the way. We should have done that, Ashley. Batman, Batwoman, we could have done it. No, you wouldn't have done it? No? I, I would have done it. Okay, next one, okay. Which is tomorrow. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow, okay. okay not having it, not having what did it. I just agree to? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll have that conversation later. So we're gonna get into, so why partnerships are important. You wanna take this one? Yes. Hold on. Can we see that all right? All right, cool. So uh, the definition of a partnership is a relation, relationship between two or more individuals. So an example of a partnership is two businesses working together. If anybody in the chat, anybody throw in there, would, oh, hey, Ashley, you would make a great cat woman. Just say no. I'm just saying. I don't know. We're doing that with Craig, though. I don't know if we would get him to dress up. So so who in the chat or Ashley, if you only want to chime in. So when we say a partnership or two businesses working together, what does that, what does that even mean? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I do get it. But you know, it's it's combining forces, right? Right. It, it's it's making sure that um, values align, and making sure that you know, like it, it really does say a lot about our own company. So. Yeah, and I, I think values play a, a big part in it. So when you're make, when you are joining forces and, and becoming a partner, especially when it comes to business, um, you know, I think values are super, super important. If you are working with people that have the same values, the same ethics that you do, um, I just think the relationship that you have there is going to be stronger, but also the services that you could provide for your potential client is just going to be that much better, you know, that much better too. So I definitely agree. And it's, and again, it's partnerships are super, super important. Talk to an agent that's been in the business for a while and find out how they do it. And they're going to tell you about all these partners that they, that they know, you know, so it's, it's super, super important to learn. And again, we're going to give you some, so you don't have to go reaching out. But when you think about finding some of these on your own, you know, the more and more that you do business, the more and more you start meeting people that work towards your values and your, and, and your goals, you know, a partner, you want them to, to make you better. You know, like Ashley makes me better. Hopefully I make her better. You know, you put yourself in, in, in a room with better people and all of a sudden everybody starts to, you know, to get better. So, so that we know what a partnership actually is, you know, let's talk about, you know, how do, how do we find them? Like, where do we, where do you find a partnership? Now, again, we're going to tell you some, but as you're out and about, you need to really realize that when you're trying to find these partners, and I think Ashley, you hit it pretty strong, right? You know, we all work better together. You know, it's important to continue to, your relationship and you got to have some type of consumer confidence. So I know that they talked about mindset, Chris and Jeff earlier today and getting, you know, getting them to trust and like you, you know, that's very, very important. 
You know, you got to be honest and transparent. And if you, if you can't do that and you can't build that trust, I don't think the partnerships are going to work the way that they need to. Right. So if I'm working with a client, I'm just pushing a specific lender every single time because this is who I'm, who I'm working with, or I know that they give me something that we're not, I didn't say kickback. I did not say kickback. Okay. No kickback here. That was four times I've said that. Um, But if it's not right for the client, you know, when it comes down to inspectors, title companies, all that kind of stuff, um, if it's not right for the client, it's not right for the client, but if you cannot build that trust with them, they're not going to believe you anyways, right? A thousand percent, Jimmy. Totally get it. All right. So let's talk about when we talk, when we're talking about how to find them, let's talk about business connections. So, um, Anybody in the chat, if you're listening, you know, throw out some mortgage companies that are out there. Or actually get throw, give me a couple that, you know, we work with, but, you know, throw, throw some mortgage companies out there. See if anybody does it. All right, Amerisave, I got one there. Okay. This is so a we question Amer- for me as well, but- Jimmy. What's that? Yeah, go ahead. Veterans United. What else? Veterans United. Gary Parsons, Caliber Home Loans. Cool. Okay, so that's three different companies. And then we have Bro Financial. They're a lender, right? We got Navy Federal. We got Discount Loans. Thank you, Rachel. Coast to Coast Lending. So there is a lot out there. I mean, there, there, there's a lot. It's just like, I'm sure it's just like agents. Right now, there's more agents than there are houses for sale. Um, So partnering with the right mortgage, there we go, Highland Residential Mortgage, thank you. And for those of you that are new that don't have that many mortgage partners, there are quite a few that you have right there already that they're telling you. And if you're partnering with them and you're willing to throw that name out there, that means you're willing to put your name on the line and know, let's say Coast to Coast Lending is going to have your back and you work great with them. Because it's super important when you're working, let's say, with a mortgage partner to make sure that, again, not just values and ethics, but the communication is where it needs to be for the agent and lender and also for the client and the lender. And the, and the better that you can give a partner the, that's going to be able to definitely work with your client in a way that they need to. That's why it's important to have multiples, but it helps to drive your business and do more sales. I mean, that's to me, that's across the board when it comes to partnerships, that's kind of what this is all about. Yes, it's giving the best service and making them trust you and being there for the life of a, you know, of a potential client. But, you know, if you do this the right way, this is, this can grow your business, give you more sales. I'm not saying lead wise, but you know, the more information that you have, the more options that you have for your, your clients. So now let's talk a little bit about vendors. You want to grab that one, Ashley? Absolutely. Are we talking about um, mortgage per se, or are we talking about? Oh no, so like different vendors. So like different. Um, so different types of companies that you can partner up with. I already hit the mortgage side, but other vendors that could be beneficial to an agent um, and their clients. Vendors are so important. So you've got so many different companies, right? So you've got, just like you said, title, insurance, roofers, contractors, the painters, you've got people that are, that are yeah. always with. Um, Almost anything that has to do with real estate uh, or a property is a potential vendor that you can, I, I mean, I have people all the time, hey, do you know a contractor? Uh, do you, who should I use for title? What, what about this insurance? Insurance, if you did not watch last Thursday's meeting, go back into those tools that we, Mike and I just talked about. Or if you're on a Facebook page, go on Facebook, watch that video from Thursday, because there is some, to me, huge changes in insurance. And if you don't have the right partner, Again, you want to make sure you give that level of service to your client, and you can't if you don't have partners partners like this that are in there. And I'll give you an, a, a reason a, and something on insurance specifically. So if you're you're going out to a listing, you know it's super important that 
you know, when they talked on Thursday, oh, Michael, I like that, mowing and pool service providers. Yes, those are all vendors for you. Let's go back to insurance though. So let's say, for instance, you're getting ready to list a property that's on the water. We're going to go live next month where we know come the beginning of next month that the changes are happening with flood insurance and it's dramatic changes in flood insurance. Now you may just hear about it, right? And that's cool. That's awesome. I heard it's going to be bad. That's great. It's going to be huge. But if you go through the trainings and you find a partner and with insurance, like we have, right? We have somebody that walked us through that you could transfer. You could transfer that flood insurance. That is very, very important when you're looking at going from $1,000, $2,000 a year to $10,000 a year when it comes down to flood insurance or the issues with roofs, knowing that you have to have three to five years left for most of them. So um, it's just important, especially again, with the change of time and what's happening in the market, you just have to have these vendors or vendor partners available yeah, see right there off the boulevard in Apollo. Thank you very much, Lauren. I appreciate that. So it's just important. And now we have a really cool tool, right? That hasn't really launched all the way yet. Move Easy. Um, work it through a couple of kinks, but your Move Easy platform will allow you to have all of these trusted vendors that you have actually on your site. So make it a one-stop shop for your clients when they need a pool boy, a pool girl, whatever, right? Pool boy, whatever. I, I don't know. I know Joe likes Joe, Joe and Chris, they don't even have pool people because they can just take care of it. Like I can't handle, I have to have a pool boy. So next step up on business connections, community connection. So you have, you know, there's a lot of people in the office that work with the chamber or local business organizations. So that's another way that you can reach out for business connections and, and grab other, um, you know, partners. And then finally other agents, you know, this is kind of important. You're trying to help a client out and they're moving to Idaho. You know, they're moving to Maryland. They're moving across the country or the world. Who knows? You know, you have to have partners in place to be able to help you with all that stuff. And that is where we're going right now. So go ahead. Yeah, woohoo. You got it? Um, okay, so I'm kind of looking at where we are at the moment. But totally knowledge is power. But we do have the most incredible relationships with... Um, a network of amazing brokerages. So basically any sort of outgoing referral, please, please reach out to us. It's, it's begandsreferrals.com. And it's so super easy. Put it on in there and we'll help you out. And that's one of the things that I wanted to make sure that, we, and we're, we're going to kind of get to that too. We're going to show you exactly what it looks like and how to fill it out. Cause I get, you know, a lot of agents ask, how do I do this? Or, you know, like Mike said last time, you know, the reason you're not using it or doing it is because you don't know how maybe or know where they're at. And that's one of the things for that we're going to be looking at today. So it's so super easy. And we, we really have an amazing relationship with all these brokerages. Around. So before we get into the Beggins, partnerships, which we're going to hit, spend the majority of the time on. Um, I think we have hit this with knowledge is power, but by understanding what your client's needs are, these partnerships can play an important role in making the experience experiential. Geez, I can't believe I put that in there. So remember with Century 21, we're going from, we want to go from transactional to experiential. And by having these partners, this can actually help you through that. Referring to us East Coast to Florida, V3. Yep, we're going to talk about that too, my man. Thank you. Um, not every partnership is right for everyone. So we're going to go through these, you know, some of these partners that we have, and it's not going to be right for everyone. When I say everyone, we're talking about your clients. Every one of these are right for you as an agent. You just have to make sure it fits the needs of your clients. And then understanding your clients' needs, obviously, that's the biggest thing and um, opens up a ton of options that they probably don't even know exist. I guarantee you right now, when we talk about insurance, I guarantee you, guarantee you, you're going to, you can talk to someone who has no idea what's happening with the insurance market. No idea. And they're going to be in for a big surprise. That's a really easy speaking point that you can use. But again, having that partner that can maybe even reach out and run some quotes and things like that. I mean, that's the way to go. Sweet. So now we're going to get into these programs and partners that we offer here at Century 21 Beggins. Okay. So we are going to be hitting on the Realogy Broker Network, Relocation, Realshore, Knock, Home Partners, 
Navy Federal, AARP, Pro Financial, Discount Loans, Paramount Title, Op City, Ojo, Zillow. Hold on a second. I got to catch. That's a lot. I'm just saying. I don't know any other broker that has the this many. And there's, we got more. We probably have more. But it's just insane the amount of partnerships that we have at your fingertips to help grow your business again. So I'm gonna, Ashley, I'm going to let you take these next two real quick. So around the Realogy Advantage or Broker Network and, um, and Relocation. Okay, so Realogy Advantage Broker Network. Um, it is an amazing network of all kinds of brokers that include um, Caldwell Banker, ERA, Better Homes and Gardens, Sotheby's, and Corcoran Group. Um, basically, we refer um, leads back and forth. Um, basically, we, we want to make sure that you are. Oh my gosh, why am I like losing words at the moment? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you and I talked about this. Oh, I know, no, it's all I good. No, it is all good. So, oh, okay, have, you have this huge network of other brokers around the country and world, right? So, by having by having this this many options, I guess you can say, um, and a lot of programs that we're going to kind of discuss, you know, how can an agent leverage, I mean, they don't need to go crazy and need to know that we have all these different, you know, all these different brokers that are involved with it. But when it comes down to it, and we have these referrals that work, you know, what, you know, what kind of questions, or what kind of, you know, what would an agent be looking for to try and recommend or, or be able to use this partner you know, to their advantage. Is there anything like specific that comes to your mind that you, you see a lot when we're getting referrals around stuff? When we're getting referrals, like, well, basically we would, we want to help people. That's like okay. number one, right? So we just need the basic information. We'll send it to a um, top brokerage yep, and they will give it to a top agent that's full-time, that is um, qualified and you know, here to service your client. Right. So again, this options give, well, I will go into all that stuff, but knowledge is power. It gives you options. It really gives you the capability of being able to recommend the right products that are going to work. Christine Farley says, uh, I'm not a Beggins agent, but I'm a C21 top sale realty in Rhode Island. So if you need to send, send me some referrals, hey, good looking out girl. I like that. I like that. No, she but said that she sent them to oh us. she sent it to thank us you. yes see thank you thank we you christine i guess i can't read today no it's okay we can't read it okay. so yeah so um again it's it's understanding you know what's right for the customer so if you have a seller you know you you're door knocking walking around maybe you're doing you know maybe your social media marketing maybe you're calling you know for sale by owners whatever that might be you find out that they are moving somewhere else and then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, what am I going to do? I can sell your house here, but what am I supposed to do? Knowing that you are backed by the Realogy really, really Advantage Broker Network, you know that you your client will be taken care of no matter where they're going to be moving, almost no matter what program they're using. I know that's not 100%, but, um, but yeah. And again, you the, the idea is to understand what they can do and then recommend the correct program that the buyer seller will be able to take advantage of. So you know, again, I, I use seller moving somewhere else a lot. That's where most people I think think of referrals or relocation and stuff like that, but it's not just around, you know, that standpoint. And that's what we're going to get into next here, where I, even though it says relocation, um, we want to spend some time talking about, you know, if you do find somebody, right, if you do find somebody that is moving to another state or city that we do not service, now, if it's Orlando or something like that, we have our BE3 team, Chuck, that's for you, okay? Um, but let's say you, you don't service that area. You don't know that area and you want to get an agent. So- Well, um, and here's, here's the thing too, Jimmy, is please like reach out to me because you might not know that that agent's available for BE3. So I would be the first person to make sure that we send that referral to our BE3 agents. Correct. Right. So making sure that so right person gets either chosen. way. Well, I think one of the big things when you look at you know, our broker network that we have one is they are getting a full-time agent, right? Full-time agent, background checked. Okay. So they're basically not a criminal. I mean, how far back do they go though? Like if it's 
further than seven years, am I not good? It's I'm, you, I'm asking you, for a friend. Are you worried, Jimmy? I'm asking for a friend. Are you asking for a friend? You're I'm concerned? asking for a friend. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, so they're background check, full time agent, and you're guaranteed that you're gonna get your you're gonna get paid. When I say get paid, you're gonna get a referral. So it is the easiest seven years. Thank you, Lauren. Good looking out. So I'm good. I can be I'm just totally kidding. I got my our, license. Our, our background checks are good for seven years. Thank you, well, Lauren. But they well, are I good have for my seven years, years so. but they do go back. But I mean, like, don't be concerned about the background check if you are going to. Right. No, I'm just saying, like, again, of, don't be concerned vetted. if you're part vetted. of Relo, because that yeah. doesn't mean, like, no. No, they, they are, uh, get, they're, they're just vetted. Get really worried. That What's that? I've had people get concerned <laughs> and want to call me. And I'm like, don't be scared. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's you're fine. Good. But again, the, the whole idea around this is that when you refer something out, so an OGR outgoing generator referral, there you go. We like it. So, um, you know, you're getting someone vetted. That's going to get taken care of. Uh, that's going to take care of your client. Now, let me ask you this, Ashley, if I wanted to reach out, and I want to talk to the agent before they do it. Is there a way that they can contact me first? Before yes. They even reach out? What? No way. Yes. No way. Do you want more than one person? Yes. I want like two or three agents and I'm going to help interview because they trust me so much that they want me to make that decision for them on the agent they're going to use. wherever. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I feel like so this sweet. is an OxyClean commercial. No. <laughs> 409, you mean? <laughs> I like for <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway. Okay. No, cool. absolutely. Oh, so here's the thing is we want to make sure that you feel completely comfortable, right? Yes. So we want to make sure that um, your clients also feel completely comfortable. So if you want to interview more than one person, hundred percent, you can put that in um, the, like the website, the yep. general comments and we will see that and you can get more than one agent cool. to reach out to you. So let's take this to another level too. So we've got right. a lot of agents that started with the office and they're not from around here. They came from Rhode Island. They came from Maryland. They came from California, wherever it is. Well, guess what? They, they're working their sphere, working their sphere, working their sphere. And all of a sudden they got a friend back in California that says, oh my gosh, I want to sell my house. Oh, hold on one second. I, let me get you an agent. If you don't know one already, let me get you an agent, do an OGR, interview an agent for your friend over in California. Let's say it takes 30 minutes. Okay. I'm going to throw it probably not even that long. Shouldn't 30 be. minutes of your time and you get 25%, right? I mean, 30 minutes for a quarter of basically what they're going to get over there to be, be able to give that referral. Could be changed a little bit, whatever, but you're getting no. paid to do 30 minutes worth of work. Not Exactly. Because okay. remember, well, well I, I know it's different based on what it is, but I'm just saying you're getting paid. You're going to get a referral fee and not have to do as much work, but you're getting them somebody that is vetted and will get them taken care of. So no matter where your sphere is or who you're marketing to or who you're talking to, there's avenues that you can still help them. And that's what a partnership it is, knowing that you have a thousand percent network of people basically helps you take care of clients anywhere. And here's the thing, Jimmy, is like 100% of the time, I will make sure that we're doing what's in the best interest of the client and the agent. Yes. So that is the best way to put that, I believe. I like that. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds perfect. So how do I do an OGR or how do I, and, and we're going to talk about AGRs here because I think it's important. It's not just about people that are moving out of the country, but with all these other programs that we have, um, can you see the link there? Yes. Okay. It's so, my favorite link. So just, you know, just because like all these other partnerships and programs that we're going to be discussing, this is where you're going to go to send that in. Okay. So we know that if there is if I have somebody in another state or my seller is moving somewhere else and I want to get them an agent. I come right down here to where it says outbound broker to broker, click on it. Yes, all the red asterisks need to be filled out, but the idea is to put as much information in there as possible to make it as seamless as possible 
for what's happening, okay? You fill all this out, you submit it. You're gonna get actually an email say from Arilo saying, hey, I got it. Thank you so much, here you go. We're gonna be working on getting this placed. And then depending on how it's set up, I always ask to talk to the agent before just because I'd like to have that conversation to let them know what's happening over here. Because I think that partnership is very important if you're selling and buying somewhere else. And then boom, and the, the wheels start turning, <laughs> right? Now they should be, re the, re the assigned agent should be reaching out to you automatically, but I do put that in the notes okay. anyways, just to make sure that they do. I think that's very important. I mean, I think that, I mean, again, you want it seamless. You're going to recommend this awesome program and then they're going to call your seller or your client that you're talking to, trying to hook them up and know nothing. That's what we don't want to happen. We want to make sure that there's some communication in there. And that's why this partnership is so important. So now the other ones we have in here are basically, well, besides BE3 sellers, right? Because that could be considered outgoing. Well, that was, that's or, kind of set up for Mike. Okay. So we won't even look at that. We're, yeah, don't yeah. pay attention to the one that's highlighted. Don't pay attention. Now we have some other AGR. So agent, agent generated referral. So what, what is that? What's the difference between an outbound broker to broker or a broker uh, or out, <laughs> outbound generated referral compared to an agent generated man jimmy you're speaking my language i'm speaking you i know i am that's why i asked you like what's up Talk to me. <laughs> so an outbound referral is going to be anything that you're not going to service right so even if you are in sarasota and need to um like the the client needs to be serviced in st pete for example so if they are in need of a property in South Carolina, Texas, anything of that sort, then like definitely that's an outgoing referral. Agent generated referral, somebody that you actually have, it's probably not, you're probably not having people in your car, but it would be somebody that you would have in your car that you're driving around that you're actually physically showing property to. Okay. Right. So, and that, that um, would be eligible for a program such as Navy Federal okay. Realty Plus or even Realty okay. program for military or so cashback reward, right? So okay. why and, and hey Jimmy, why would you why would you turn somebody in? Oh, I like this question. Programs? Okay, so this happens a lot, right? So I got somebody okay. cool AARP. Navy Federal, whatever it is, I know that they are. And then all of a sudden, I don't let them know that we're a broker or that, that I can actually help them with that. There's a couple of things that can happen. One, they can call directly and get placed and you can you could possibly lose the client because they want to get their cash back rewards and go with somebody else. Okay. So you could possibly lose your client because of it, because you didn't let them know. The other thing is, again, it's a benefit. Us being a partner or a broker that can handle these specific partnerships and programs that is a step in front of any other agent that they may end up talking to. I've won listings because of this. And I've turned it in as an agent generated referral because it's the right thing to do. They get the money, they get the money back. I get them into the program because they were going to use it anyways. And I wouldn't have had an opportunity to even get that listing or listings because it's happened multiple times and I wouldn't have been able to get it. So, and it's, again, it's the, it's the right thing to do. If they, if they qualify for one of these programs that we, that we are partners with, you know, going this way to make sure that they get everything when it comes down to what's right for, what's right for the client, not what's right for the agent, what's right for the client. So Jimmy, when you turn them in, right, when you yeah. actually go to this website, put them in the, the, the system, then I send it out to the actual program to make sure that they qualify for it, right? Well, to make sure that they qualify for it, but at the same time that, that makes sure that actually solidifies your relationship with that person. Yeah, cool. Right? So I guess that would be, uh, I'm trying to say it the right way here, but it will come back to you. Yeah, you're not losing it, right? You're, you're not gonna, if, if, I, if I have a client that, use, that is part of the Navy Fed, you know, program that we have, if I know that and I send it through to make sure that they're taking care, I still get to take care of them, right? I'm not a thousand percent. Huh? A thousand percent. Right. 
So you're not losing it. And I think that that's also a good step to go ahead and talk about the fact that zap is so important and making sure that you're putting your people into zap. Yes. Because we do double check. All right, cool. So let's talk about that. So zap, right. zap lead router, lead router ties to zap. You don't need to worry about zap. You don't need to worry about lead router, but zap is our CRM. It will be Moxie works. It's the only time I'm talking about Moxie works because it is not here yet. I digress. Zap is where you put everything in. If I put that client in and I am their primary agent, okay? And then they go through the program that we're part of, guess who gets it? I do, because I put them in as a primary agent. Now, if I don't put them in as a primary agent and I don't let them know about this program and then they find that, find out they are a part of this program and they call and go through, I might end up losing it because of that. So it's just important to ask as many questions as you can as you're trying to build that relationship with your client, because the more that you do that, the easier it is to find out which, if any of these, work for them, right? All right, cool. So I'm going to go back. I have a really good example. So oh, Lana give me one. Shackleford. Get it, get it, come on. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Okay. So Lana Shackleford had done open apps, right? Had put about eight people in that she had gotten information on, on her open house. And a week later, I got a corporate buyer that okay. was looking for a $350,000 home in St. Pete. So it was kind of like a different area, but because she had put them in, I was able to cross-reference and knew that that was somebody that she had talked to previously and gave it back to her. See, that, and that could have been something that she lost. So, so Sarah, you said, easily. huh? It could have easily been something that she had lost out on, but she was proactive and did what she should have done. And I recognized it and gave it back. So Sarah asked, if you don't put them into Zap, do you lose them to Relo? No, not, not necessarily. That's not, that's not the kind of talk that we're having here. Uh, yes, you want to make sure you put all your clients in Zap regardless, because that's your CRM. You don't, you don't want to miss out on something. But if they do end up shopping somewhere else in another area, and that lead ends up coming through, and you have not put them in there, and let's say, um, so it could end up going somewhere else. I mean, that's, so I'm not saying you will lose them to Relo. But, no, 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 I don't want anybody to lose anything. Yeah, that, that's not what that it's about. That is not the yeah. point of this at all. Please, yeah. please, please. Because like, here's the thing is like, there's just so many different avenues where somebody's trying to grab these lead sources, right? And it, it's the speed to lead type situation where people are calling really quickly and Yep. and everything else if somebody doesn't respond immediately then the client may be calling somebody else like immediately after right so i would never ever ever take anything uh, like yeah, that that's so that's about. so yeah. not the point yeah I'm that's so not about it. If the idea is use that put them in there that way if they do go shopping somewhere else and they end up using one of these programs it can come back towards you because if not Let's say it's a program that we're not even a part of. They end up finding another agent anyways, somewhere else that's going to offer the program that they have. So just put them in Zap, keep up the touch, keep, keep talking with them and you'll be good. All right, cool. Let's see where we're at. We still got 20 minutes. Cool. We got a ton of time. Okay, cool. So now, wait, did you want to, anything else you want to add to that part before we get moving? You good? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's very basic. The, okay. the so internet. simple. Make sure you fill yeah, out yeah, the red asterisks. Simple. And as always, if there's an issue, you're not sure, just shoot an email over to Ashley. She loves getting emails. Call her. Hey, what's going on? All right, cool. So we talked about Reload. We talked about the Real G Broker Advantage, Advantage Broker Network. Geez, sorry. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep them all together. See, there's a lot. There's a lot. Now let's get into some of the other partnerships that we have. Home Partners of America. Anybody on the chat, raise your hands if you've heard of Home Partners. Thank you, Sarah. Man, Sarah's on point. Sarah is on point. So Home Partners of five, hey, five, also six. Also, too, if you are, if you can certify with Home Partners, if you could send me a real quick email, that would be helpful. So we could put you on the automated. Okay. Like team. Three. Okay. So a lot of people. Okay. So we had five and then down to three. Okay. Anyway, so home partners America. So what's, so the, the market is kind of insane right now. It is changing. 
but we know that the demand is still very high for homes and there's not a lot of homes that are available. So again, I'm, I'm an agent also. So I know what it feels like when you have an FHA buyer that's coming out, that's trying to buy a 300 or 275, do it, Lauren, great job, smoothest transaction. Hey, if you haven't used home partners, read some of these comments that they're saying about it. Smoothest transaction, doing a deal that as we speak, it's phenomenal. But I'm going to give you a real life example of, of kind of what's happening. So you have a lot of people that are, a lot of buyers are stepping away. They're scared. They've written 25 offers and they're not winning. They just don't have the cash to come up with extras over appraised values, or they have just enough. Maybe some of them may even need some type of closing cost assistance and they just have it. They just can't, they just can't do it. So you have a lot of people that are, are kind of putting it on hold. I guess you can say and tomorrow we're going to talk about how important those people are <laughs> that we're going to do that tomorrow when we talk about lead follow-up and stuff like that. But by understanding what's happening in the market and what some of you are running into, and I'm sure Lauren and, and Andrea, those things that, you know, the reason you're using them, it could be for someone who can't find a place to rent, right? Rent Rentals are insane right now too. So imagine being able to buy a house and just rent that out. So it's perfect for someone who wants to rent for five years because you're guaranteed to rent five years. You know exactly what you're paying each year. But on a standpoint of taking this and leveraging it with your buyers, now you've taken that FHA buyer that didn't have the extra cash to come over like appraised value or whatever it might look like, and you turn them into a cash buyer. Now it's not really your buyer that's gonna be purchasing. Your buyer's not purchasing the home right away. Home Partners is gonna buy the home cash for them, and then they're gonna rent it back. So hey, Jimmy, I read, I read something where it's the um, rental prices have gone up 20.6% in the Tampa Bay area. Insane. 20.6%. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, everything, you know, hey, I mean, you do with what you, you deal with, with the hand that you're given. So here's another option. If you got someone who's looking for a rental, this is the cool thing on the agent standpoint, is you're basically representing home partners in the transaction where they're buying the house cash from whoever the seller is and you get your commission, which is pretty cool. And then when the buyer is ready to purchase the home, they can buy it whenever they want in the next five years. So Lauren put, my client is now in a position to buy right now. She was renting and landlord had decided to sell home out from under her and is scrambling for a place to live. So it's giving more options. And again, I mean, we've seen what's happened with pricing, you know, three months ago where we're at with price is totally different than where it is right now. If you had a used home partners last year or three, three or four months ago, and then in four months you decide I'm going to go ahead and buy it. You might actually have some equity in the house, even though that home partners, when you buy it, it the price is a little bit higher than obviously what they, what they, um, what they purchased for. But knowing that that's going to happen, and knowing that you have that, you know, tool in your belt, again, that's what all this is about. It's about giving you as much knowledge, finding what's right for your client, and then possibly giving them an avenue that they never even heard about. So in this case, you know, when you go into Home Partners, you can get certified, you can get your information to Ashley so you can jump on there. Uh, rentals in Lakeland up 25 to 26%. Yep, Mike, Michael, hopefully I didn't say that uh, incorrectly. Um, but get on home partners. They have a ton of marketing materials you can use. And I'm not saying this is your lane, but if you need something to talk about, use this. Let as many people, you know, know about this program where they can turn around and buy. And this is what, what about this? I am seeing so many buyers right now are starting to settle because it, they're either expanding their search and driving two hours to find a house or they're settling for the house that might not be 100%, but they need to buy something, right? You can use whatever lender you want, Sarah, when it comes to buying from home partners. That's a total separate transaction. You're not going to actually be involved with it, but you can use whatever lender you want when it's time to buy that house from home partners. Okay, so um, where was that? So again, they're, they're expanding their offers. They're starting to settle. So what happens, and I don't know if you have seen anything like this, but there's this thing called buyer's remorse where people were buying houses, they're settling, and then they're like, oh, I got to fix this. I got to do that. Well, this is the other cool thing with home partners. Guess what? If I don't want to, like, it's a year-to-year -year lease. If I don't, it's like, it's like trying out my community in my house and then 
saying, never mind, I don't want to live here. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like my neighbors. They got 75 dogs and I can't handle that. You know, I know Ashley, you love dogs. We love about dogs. 75 of them. 75, like who wouldn't? But seriously, like let's say you don't like the community or something changes and you and the drive is just gonna to be too far for you. Where else can you like? test drive your house for five years and then say i'm out i'm buying one on my own that's your that's the opportunity that you have with home partners which is pretty sick so again for more information you go into all those websites that we threw out there for you you want to go to home partners get some of that and do some of the training so you're more confident when you're being able to talk to your clients and that's the idea is again give as much knowledge as you can to possibly give something in return to your your sellers that they didn't even know about and okay. I'm not the only weird dog person, by the way. No, I'm a weird dog person too. I think, I think I'm kind of weird. All right. I'm very weird. That's correct. All right, cool. Next up, here is another partnership that we have. It may or may not be, again, it's based on the client and what they need, but there is something called a real shore, which is century 21 program. Same. Uh, it's a century oh, 20. Lauren is also a weird dog lady. <laughs> oh, you're weird. Okay. I think, uh, I mean, I have clients that's still in their home partner's house year four. That's awesome. Whip up. Okay. So we got a program called real shore, real shore. Again, you can get certified in this through century 21. All you really have to do is you can go to our plethora of training websites, or you can go on to 21 online online. And this is a program that's actually for both buyers and sellers. Um, on the seller standpoint, it may or may not be worth it right now. It just depends. Again, knowing that you have this option mm -hmm. and knowing that I can get a cash offer when I walk into a listing appointment. I literally can get a cash offer walking into a listing appointment saying, hey, here you go. Uh, let's see. Michael said, is the Home Partners of America available to all agents and brokers? If you have a prospect, just mention you have the program. They may go with a friend or relative that is a realtor. So you want to get certified in home partners. You can't put an offer in if you're not certified. Like you have to go through everything to be able to put all the information in that you need. So you can't just go and if you, so you want to get your certification and almost, I mean, I guess any other agent could, but you know, we have a very good partnership with them. We have them on a lot of trainings too. So. Um, well, I, I should probably make something very clear right now because like Realogy also has been feeding leads in from home partners and it wasn't something that was going on all the time previously. So um, it would be technically, I don't want to say Cardis because yeah, it's not gotcha. really Cardis, but it would be fed through that same way. If you are certified, please, please let me know. And I'll make sure that you're on that. On that list. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So please, please <laughs> let me know. All right, cool. So uh, back to Real Shore real quick. So again, you got a listing appointment. You want a cash deal before you go, go into Real Shore. They have an app. You could go under the website, put all the information in, and they will give you a cash deal that's good for a certain amount of days. So you can go into your listing appointment and let them know. All right, you're certified knock. We're going to get to knock. The nice thing with the cash offer with Real Shore is you get to, you don't just have to take that offer. You're like, cool, the offer sounds good, but I want to try to sell it myself. You can do the traditional sale where as an agent, we're going to put it on the market and sell the crap out of it. And in this market, it's most likely going to sell. But if it doesn't, in, that, in the time frame, real sure we'll, we'll buy the house for you. So it's a really nice option for our sellers. But honestly, it's a, to me, it's a cash offer that's getting put on the table right off the bat when you come in. So it kind of helps with the validity possibly of your, your price of where you're sitting with a listing. On a buyer standpoint, they have an option where they basically, if you're using their lender, um, you're able to kind of take away the home sale contingency because you're going to have a cash offer on your house. So if, I, if I'm selling a house and buying another one, it's going to be similar to Knox. So I'm going to go kind of quick on both of those. But they basically will give you a cash offer so you can take away the contingency of having to sell your home and then go buy a home, which is pretty cool. All right, we got 10 minutes. Next up, knock. So if you have, if you're not familiar with knock, I know we already had that pop up. Again, an, another way to leverage a cool partnership that we have. Um, literally buy now, say, uh, you know, buy now, sell later. 
similar to real shore to a certain degree, you will be able to buy the home. You can go buy your home without having to sell yours. You can move out. Don't have to worry about any showings or anything like that in the home. You move into your new property, get everything moved in and then go and sell your house afterwards. The cool thing is you only have to pay one mortgage. Okay, so you won't have to pay two. You're only gonna be paying one mortgage. And you can also get up to $25,000 um, you can get a um, up to $25,000 to help sell your home too. So get certified in NOC, get certified in Real Shore, figure out what is the best option for your buyers or sellers. And in this case, if you have somebody who's scared to sell because they have to buy something and they're afraid they're not going to have a place to live, here's a program for you. Get trained up on it and leverage it with them. Let's see, what we got here. It says, I, I use Real Shore for one prospect, but he got an offer from OfferPad for 13K more. That's fine. You're going to have a lot of iBuyers that do stuff like that. You can work with OfferPad. You can put an offer for them in OfferPad so you can have that too. Certifications are not on Begin's websites. You can go to it to get to the training. So yeah. if you go on to, let's, I'll use Begin'sAgents.com as an example. Go there. You can find Knock. You can go down and it will, and it will bring you to the websites. You can also go to the Next Level Resource Center also, and you can go to Partnerships, go to Knock, and it will bring you to the website where you need to get your certifications. Okay, so Knock is a great program. If you got people that are, are nervous, boom, here's another great option. Now, there's specific things with each one of these programs that have to fall into place. Like, they're, like it can only be a conventional loan. You're only, it has to have a certain amount of equity, you know, little things like that. Do the training. You'll have all the answers that you need, but it is a great opportunity. You can get more than one iBuyer. Yes, Lauren. You uh, Go to OfferPad. Go to Open Door. Go to Real Shore. Go, I mean, go to all of them. See what you can get for it. All right, next up, I'm going to let you take this one. Here's a, another great program that we have, Navy Federal Credit Union. So talk to me, you know, Ashley, about Navy Fed. Like, what, what, what's up with this? What, like, again, great benefits, right? What's up? Love Navy Fed. Okay. So the Realty Plus program is separate from the mortgage, right? So Jimmy, if you're a member of Navy Federal Credit Union, you uh -huh. can get cash rewards just for being a member. Whoa. No way. Yeah. No way. How much? Really? Is it really a lot? Like, don't worry. There's, it's no so way. much. It's so much. <laughs> I want to say it's up to six grand. Okay. Um, and it's, can, it's, based on, it's, it's based on the price point of the home. Okay. Um, so... They will, so I just want to make sure that everybody understands that it's completely separate than mortgage. So mortgage is great because they also have 100% conventional and VA options. Okay. Right. So they they really do have great mortgage options or mortgage yeah options, but you they could use cash and still get this cash reward. Oh, that's cool. So okay. like Jimmy, like you come to me and, and it ends up being like Bank of America is going to give you an amazing deal. And you go with Bank of America, great. You still get your cash rewards through Realty Plus. So Realty Plus is separate from actual mortgage. Okay, gotcha. Right. So just to keep that that super clear. But no, Navy Federal is an amazing partner of ours. They give us um, an a really good amount of leads, and we appreciate their partnership. So. So again, if you happen to be working with a client and you start talking and you're finding out all this great stuff about them, and you hear them say. Navy Federal Credit Union, or they start talking about, I think I'm part of this program where I get cash back. That should be a light bulb that pops in your head to ask some more questions. Because again, we don't want to lose a client because we didn't know that we have this to offer to them. For $6,000, I guarantee you they'd probably go somewhere else if they knew they were getting it. The well, idea is to understand and this. And it, and it happens. It truly does. And I don't, I don't want anybody to lose out on a client, but yeah, um, something like a military, you know, um, gear that they're wearing or yeah. like license plates or yeah. um, anything that you see inside the house. So like, that's something that you can actually talk about, reach out to me. I'll do whatever I possibly can to make sure that, you know, your yeah. referral fee is the least amount possible. Um, and also taking care of your client. And again, it's all about just identifying and, and figuring everything out with your client and what works best. Again, just knowing this, it's just another tool in your belt. 
right? Another tool in your belt to be able to give an experiential experience. Jeez, that's way too, I got to stop saying that because that stuff's like killing me. All right, cool. Next up. Of tools. Yes, there's a lot of tools. I told you there's a lot. There's a lot. And we, we have... We have four minutes and we're, we're going to probably be done right about that too. Like, look at this. And then we can call Mike and say, we're done at, you know, five till anyway. So next up, we got another partnership, Grove Financial, a federal credit union. What is up with it? Why would I like, what, tell me about this one. Grove Financial is an amazing institution that um, really takes care of their clients. And we also have a program that will give them cash rewards as well. The members. Qualified applicants, there has to be, there's specific qualifications, but. No, well, actually, as long as they're a Grow Financial member. You're like, as long as, you know, they're breathing. I'll give them money. Okay. So again, just another program. Again, this may be something that would benefit a buyer for you. So zero money down, 100% financing up to 8K back after closing. I'm sure there's people that would love that. But guess well, what? Here's the thing, it's about by knowing about these these programs, these people are gonna, you know, like you, trust you, right? Yes. Like that's that's yes. the whole goal. Imagine like what you would do for them. If you like, yes, they're gonna love you. They're gonna think you're awesome you know, all this stuff about real estate. And then all of a sudden you're giving them another eight grand back. They're like, ka-ching, like, wow, you better take me to a steak dinner. I'm just saying, but it's up to 8,000. You don't just get it just, just to get it. Like it's going to be qualified based on, you know, all that other stuff. So that's up to 8,000. All right, cool. Next up, AARP. Tell me about this. There's another one. What is this about? Wow. There's all kinds of them. AARP is like, has I should have double checked up like to see their membership, but they are huge. ARP is really huge. And because you're with Beggins or because you're with our company, um, they've aligned with ARP, which is amazing. It's another cash reward program. Okay. So it would be um, it's it's a different cash back schedule than another one would be, but I've got that uh, available. So another program. Cool. So I get AARP stuff in the, in the mail all the time now. Don't so, you laugh. Don't laugh. I do it all the time. Jenny. I'm not laughing. Don't laugh. I I'm, signed up for AARP. Why not? I they did. Get, but this is the cool thing. So what happens with this, again, someone who belongs, who is a member of AARP decides they want to sell out. I'm sure they're getting marketing around, hey, here's some really cool rewards if you buy a house through AARP, you can get up to $5,500 back. And then again, oh, we miss out on something. So again, knowing this, if you're walking around. Jimmy, like, like it's literally just because you're an AARP member. Yeah. I mean, you're not going through the mortgage. There's what not was the other program that we had a couple of years, a few years ago that was similar? What's that? We had a program similar to this that was earlier. It wasn't AARP, it was something else. You're thinking Amazon? Maybe, I don't know. That's, yeah. that's anyway, we're either way. So I, there's another one. I signed myself up for ARP and it right. was while I was in my thirties. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm throwing this, this is a discount loans. So here's another partner that we have. Uh, so you had Grow Financial, you had Navy Fed, we got discount loans, we got coast to coast lending. You had 25 other ones that people wrote in there. We are actually affiliated with discount loans too. So, you know, that partnership that we have, the communication that we have, um, again, if you don't have your own, we have some that you can jump in with and get rocking and rolling. And then finally, oh, I didn't mean to go back. Let's do one more. And then finally, again, there's multiple, multiple partnerships, but you know, I want to call out Paramount Title. Obviously, we're, we have an affiliated business agreement or disclosure that everybody has to sign when they go on a contract with us. Jimmy, why do I need to be partnered with the title company? Are you kidding me? You need to be partnered with anybody that has anything to do with real estate and property. I'm just saying. And the reason, like, I mean, I have a zillion examples of how they have helped me out in the past, but not just the training that they give you. Yes, go to their trainings, learn the Alta statements, learn about how title policies, learn about like whatever it may be. But there's times where things come up and let's say, for instance, you're like, oh my gosh, there's a trust on this. What am I supposed to do? No one's taught me about a trust. Someone just passed away in the middle of a transaction. Oh my gosh, what, are you, what do you do? You have somebody you can partner with that you can ask questions about anything when it comes down to it. 
and they have your back. That's what a true partner is. Are they going to give you more business? They're not going to start sending leads or anything like that, but it's title is synonymous with real estate agent. You have to, you have to use them. Well, the majority of the time, yes, you can use lawyers. Same thing. If you're down, down in Sarasota and that's, and that's what they're doing, partner with somebody that can help you through all of the issues that could possibly come up. We know that they're not going to wink, wink stuff's going to happen. You need to have the right partner to be able to help you get through whatever that might be across the board with any of these. Oh man, we are, we are rocking and rolling. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with a quote from Craig Beggins. He's hopefully he's watching, but awareness gives you flexibility. Flexibility gives you options and options give you power. Everything that we talked about in this last hour gives you flexibility and options for your clients and yourself to, for yourself to make more money, to grow your business and to get the best experience that you can for your clients and giving them options that they never have. Hey, Craig, he is. What's up, Craig? Oh, snap. <laughs> so we're going to leave, leave you with that. Again, awareness gives you flexibility. Flexibility gives you options and options give you power. Now, before we sign off though, thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. I got the quote right. At, tell Chris, tell Chris, thank you, because I was screwed up that quote way too many times. Um, so tomorrow, so this is the end of today. So thank you for everybody who tuned in and uh, spent the day with the Beggins family. Tomorrow, day two of NLU, we're starting off between at 10 o'clock in the morning from 10 to 12, uh, storytelling versus selling on social. You get to see me again and Mike Puma. And then uh, after lunch, you're gonna have a bulletproof listing process. And that is going to be Cat and Joe are jumping on the stage tomorrow between one and two. Uh, next up is gonna be how to sell in a shifting market. And that is gonna be Jeff and our fearless leader, Craig. We're gonna talk about finding buyers made easy. That's actually gonna be Ashley, myself and Craig one more time. And then we're going to finish up with the Bulletproof buyer process. And that is Jeff and Chris. So thank you again for tuning in. If you need anything, let us know. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Jimmy. You're great. Bye.